What's up guys, Ryan here from Mud Gunner, and today we are in Vegas. This is gonna be industry day at the range. So this is the day before SHOT Show starts, and this is a basically a big demo of different guns from different companies. So it's probably gonna rain on us today. As you can tell, it's pretty dark clouds. I'm gonna to try to do the best I can for you, but these mics, last time I brought these out and it was like very humid, they got very staticky. I do have my other camera too, but my camera equipment's just not the best rain setup. So we're gonna do our best today, but I hope you enjoy and let's go see what guns we can shoot. So Shadow Systems came out with the XR 920P. The XR is like their Glock 45 or 19X size and the P just stands for the ported barrel or the ported comp on the front. And then they also have the MR 920P and the MR series is their Glock 19 size. So that's sweet. Before that they had the DR 920P and the CR 920P. So these are just two more added to their lineup. So the new Shadow Systems MR 920P. Uh, dang. How dialed in are the red dots? Mm, it feels kind of off from. Feel better. That was definitely Saturday. XR 920P. You want to try shooting that one? And then we got our yeah, that feels good with the comp. Suppressor. So the suppressor. I like that it's kind of a smaller comp too. So Shadow Systems also joined the suppressor game. This is the HS923, and this is the full size. They also have the compact version. So this is the new HS923 suppressor from Shadow Systems on a MR920. And you put a compensator on it, and it becomes much more controlled. So that's kind of the, we also have some suppressors and some cool stuff, but if you just want to grab that's one, the MR920 is a And let me grab a, uh, a couple fresh mags for y'all. Right sweet. Back. What's your most effective compensator? Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, ooh, good question. Well, Thank you. <laughs> All right, so this is the new Huxworks Venton 556. That's cool. Thank you. It's pretty lightweight on the front too. It looks it looks like it would be heavier. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I have this one like half out. That's it. So this is the Hollow Sun Night Vision Optic, and this is the Thermal. It's very cold out today, so we'll see if we can see anything. So you can kind of see, but it's not the greatest way to show you guys. But I'm going to show you guys shooting it, and... It picks it up very good. Like I can see all the targets there. We can do it here. It'll just be you just gotta go with one of the That's very cool. I'll try to show you guys better footage in Shot Show, like in the actual building, but out here it's just too hard to see. This is the new Hollow Sun Thermal pistol slash small office site. Okay. And you get contrast on this, you get the contrast. Got it. So looking through it today, it's just a standard dot, but this is their thermal site. Too. So I just shot the Hollow Sun Thermal pistol sight on the gun. The thermal is not on, so it's just like any other Hollow Sun with the dot and donut reticle. And yeah, they said 
track it out at the booth and we'll be able to see. So not in this video, but in the SHOT Show videos this coming week, I will show you guys that Holocene thermal sight because I'm excited to see it. Now the rifle thermal sight was on and that was actually really cool to look through. It's very cold out here today, so all the steel is cold, but you could still see the steel through the thermal sight and they have a like a front cap to kind of block out the light. So thermal sight on the rifle was very cool, but the pistol sight was just a standard red dot and that gun was jamming. So <laughs> I didn't want to bug them too long. They have a huge line of people waiting to shoot those things and the people before us took like 30 minutes. So I waited 30 minutes to shoot those two guns, but hope you guys enjoy. We are at Kimber's booth. They have their handguns to test fire and they are loading up all the handguns with Barnes Tax XPD ammo. Everyone else cheaps out on us, but you guys provide hollow points to shoot. That's cool. I wanted to try your guys' double stack. All right, right here. KDS 9 SC, and then we got RMR. <laughs> this one's sick too. The Rapide. We've got some over here too if you want. This is the Barnes Tax XP hollow point. That's comfy. And even with the hollow points, that shoots very smooth. <laughs> Can I try the Rapide? Sure. Thank you. You are. All Just right. do me a favor, sir. Oh, keep sorry. It, keep it to the left. Okay, sorry. Thank you. It's already recording. All right, so this is the Rapide. And this one's 45. I like that. That was my first time shooting a Kimber, too. Thank you. I like it. We're at Sons of Liberty's booth. We got some very nice AR builds out here. I love the camo on that one, and I lo love the setup on this like one. If you'd like, Jack can hold the camera for you. Oh, sure. Thank yeah, you. Like? Okay. So you want World Star or YouTube? YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, That's soft. Shoots incredibly soft. What's the Loyal 9 for? Uh, that's part of our, that's one of our lowers, uh, okay. L9. Um, this one is, it's a sanitized lower more or less. Uh, so for departments, agencies that are looking for something that's extremely sanitized, doesn't have any specific roll mark on it, that's the one. All that's right. what, thus the LE badge. That's very cool. It's a very cool lower. Can I get a close up of this? The mic's on me, so. <laughs> That is the Broadsword L89 upper receiver set. Um, so that really sets up well as an assaulter gun or an entry gun. Uh, the way the Broadsword locks up here uh, really locks up the rail as well. And then when you combine it with the drive lock, you have a rail that if you make impact with a door, if you make impact with a wall, uh, it reduces substantially the likelihood of having a zero shift on your enablers. If nice. That makes sense. Yeah, that, that's a very clean lockup on that. It, it has the benefit of also looking incredibly streamlined and really, really clean. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Which one were you looking to try next? Maybe the Pacific? camo one? Yeah. yeah. This is a 76 LT on a broadsword upper. Uh, this has the new Precision SPR barrel in it, 14.5. Uh, shoots absolutely lights out, 5A threads instead of your standard half, um, but still 223 wild barrel. Awesome. So this will shoot absolutely lights out. Very cool. All right, could I have you hold this one? Yeah, absolutely, man. Thank you. Yeah, it's very soft shooting as well. Oh, that's cool. I love the logo on that. Yeah, it's we get a close really up with cool that. Marks. That is a soul snatcher lower. It's perfect for this build. Yeah, oh, it looks incredible. So and all this Cerakote is done in house. Very so cool. Now, we have, so we, have in -house we we deal through like RSR and whatnot, and I've never seen any camo guns like this. But do you? Is this something you guys are going to be releasing cool through like distribution? Oh, you could. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any plans to go full distribution with a color pattern like this, but if you wanted this pattern, it's as simple as setting up a Cerakote appointment with us and our in-house guys can do it for you. That's awesome. And that way too, when your gun gets disassembled for Cerakote, it gets reassembled by a Sun's Armor. Okay. 
uh, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. So Sons of Liberty did a new gun in this caliber, 6mm Max. So I guess it's a competitor to the 6mm Mark. So 58 grain, 3,500 feet per second out of a 20 inch barrel. And then 105 grain, 2684 out of a 20 inch barrel. That's out of a 10 inch barrel, which is crazy. So the last gentleman was getting about just over 2,900 feet per second. Go for the record today and get about 3,100. 3,100? And what grain weight is this ammo? This particular one is a 58 grain. So 58 grain, and they said this is a... 10 and a half a, inch barrel. Okay, sweet. So 10 and a half inch barrel, and then 58 grain, six mil max. So let's see what we can get up to. Would you we mind recording me? We also have 105 if you want to try it. Okay, I'd try them both. Would well, you mind you recording try that for you? Thank you. And this is the Sons of Liberty Royal 9. So, 2902. That's still really fast, out of a 10-inch barrel. I mean, so this is 105 grain ammo. Let's see what velocity we get out of a 10 and a half inch barrel. 2308, that's still fast. So, 2305. So they are now doing a 19X MOS, which will be nice. And then a 30 Gen 5, which is the 45 caliber, and then a 29 Gen 5, which is the 10 mil. I think my favorite so far is gonna be that one. So I'm going to shoot the new 30 Gen 5 and the 29 Gen 5. All right, so let you start with the 10 mil. Cool. Thank you. It's a great training gun. Oh, I missed the last one. That's not bad, though. Subcompact like 10 mils and 45s are not necessarily my thing, but I have like the full size 20, so I like the 10 mil. 30 Gen 5. So that shoots softer than the 29, but that's that's still very nice. Now, are they going to come factory with the threaded bow, or are they going to also have them without? This this is what we call an SMU, a special makeup. Um, video so yeah we got it uh so as a special makeup we are optic cutting the 19x which has never been done on that pistol before yep putting suppressor height sights yeah, and the threaded barrel that's sweet i have a standard 19x i got it as soon as it came out but i've always wanted an mos cool pass like any other glock <laughs> well thank you very much you're well, welcome hopefully i did a decent job for you right. there here, this is a IC9. It is a eight and a half inch barrel. This one is configured as a short barrel rifle with a stock, but we will be doing it with just a pistol tube. And then over there we have the uh, 16 inch model. He's kind of covered up. Nice. Oh, yeah, at the end. Honestly, I like the shorter barrels for PCCs, right, yeah, anyways. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it is a chamber ring delayed blowback system. So the casing kind of swells inside there as it fires and as it recoils. It kind of drags it. It slows it down, so it makes that recoil. Okay. Uh, Glock mags. We really like ambi controls on all of our lowers. So mag oh, yeah. catch, I like that a bunch release, of guys. safety. Same thing on the other side. So it makes it really easy for any left hand or right hand shooters. You can just pick it up and run with it. Very cool. Grab your mag so LWRC IC9. <laughs> <laughs> it shoots smooth. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so this is the scum switch, right? That's it. It's a, on a pulley system with cables. It goes underneath there. And as opposed to hitting this with your hand and taking your support hand off, you're going to take it right here and actuate your throw lever like that. I never have to take my, my support hand off when I'm zooming in or out. Just like that. 
chamber. How much weight does that add to the system? It looks like there's a lot going on there, but um, it's not a whole lot. I want to say it's only like with the, the optic mount and everything, it's like four ounces, and then you're adding this, it's like right at six ounces. Okay. Yeah. So this mount, the mount alone, is one of the toughest mounts on the on the market right now. We've really tested it. Uh, if you go to watch our videos, man, we broke two ARs in the process of te drop testing it. We just chunk it. Right, and uh, if you got the scope switch, the cable system right there, we've done a lot of testing, we're throwing rocks and dust up inside of there, and it really just gives you a very robust system. Very unique. Yes, I've sir. I've seen it online, but I haven't seen it in person. Yet. Yeah, and when you buy it, you're getting the mount, the cables, all the way out to here, all together. You put in your optic of choice, or at least one that's compatible. You can find a compatible one on our website. Um, and uh, yeah, man. So, very unique design. I'm sure you guys have seen this online, but this is my first time seeing it in person. And then you just pull this. It's got a little bit of weight to pull it to adjust that, but it's not terrible. So, we got the scope switch on the MTX here. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's interesting having it like all the way back, but it's a pretty smooth transition. So I own half of this tactical combat master. And then it's got this wing on there for support. It's in my everyday bag along with one of these. On some of these here. Terran tactical combat master. Nice 2011. So that's the SIG 365, right? The, like a macro, basically. That's cool. That's interesting. Very small compact gun. You're far away from home, man. How'd you get all the way up here? It's ran. And then when you pull it out of the holster, it just pops it open. That's cool. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, man. I think I'm all good. Thank you. This is the primary weapon systems UXR. That looks sweet. Pushing down. Yeah, you can actually, you can drag it back or you can, uh, yeah. yep. I love that. <laughs> that feels pretty cool. cool. Thank you. Right, so it takes the CZ Scorpion style magazines, non-reciprocating side charging upper. This is your bolt punch on both sides. You have three mag releases. There's a paddle in the center, a button on both sides. Ambidextrous selector comes with eight different paddles, uh, 50 degree throw or 90 degree throw. That's very cool. So it's available as a pistol, a 16 inch rifle, or a SBR. Nice. This is from Rayforks. So this is their 9mm AR build. And the fact that it takes CZ Scorpion Mags is cool because it's affordable and reliable. This upper is made a little different. It's a clamp show, right? It's half and half. It clamps on a trunnion. That's cool. It looks good. It looks very nice too. So traditionally, if you make a power, oh, that mag release is fast. You have a barrel nut insert with about two millimeters That's of plastic. Cool.
All right, so Rock Island Armory, 50 enhanced. It shoots smooth. I like that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, so this is the Rock Island 310. Comes with 310 round magazines, and then it's got ports in the barrel. Never shot one of these, but they've been out for a little bit. That grip is massive for a small 45. <laughs> I will say, not my favorite, only because it's a very tiny 45, but the gun works good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. I'm happy to help. My hands are too small for that grip. Uh, yeah, it's... All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for Industry Day at the Range. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for this coming week. I'm going to be posting SHOT Show videos. And yeah, we're still on the grind of doing a daily video. So, daily video for the entire year. Stay tuned.